Hello guys, uh, my name is Evans and uh, welcome to this uh, video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to start looking at the 2017 October November IGCC ICT Paper 2. Um, in the last couple of videos, we have been doing um, Paper 3 and so in this one, we we'll dive straight into Paper 2. So we'll look at a section on document production and uh, um, then uh, we'll go into data manipulation and the other topics as well are going to follow on. So the scenario is that you work for Tawara Cruises and are going to carry out some clerical tasks. Task one, evidence document uh, one. Okay, so open the file n17evidence.rtf. Make sure your name, center number, and country number will appear on every page of your evidence document. And you're going to save this away as a word process document in your work area with the file name n17evidence um, followed by your candidate number, for example, n17evidence9999. Okay, so let's go ahead and open the evidence document okay so the evidence document is this one <clears throat> go ahead and uh, um, open um, insert then header okay so in the header I'm going to insert my name zm556 and Zero 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 one. Okay. All right. So from here, um, then you're going to um, um, to save this. Save it as a word process document, but add your candidate number at the end. So mine is zero 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 one. Okay. And accept that. Okay. Good. So we go back to the question. So you will need your evidence document during the examination to enter answers to questions and also to place screenshots when required. Okay, task two, document. You're going to edit a newsletter for Tawara Cruises. Um, the company uses a corporate house style for all their documents. So paragraph styles should be created and applied as instructed. Step one, using a suitable software package, open the file n170tcnews.rtf. Uh, Okay, so let's open that file. Okay, so NYTC News is this one. Okay, um, we are instructed, um, says, um, uh, do not change the paper size orientation or margin settings. Okay, so what, we won't do that. Um, save the document in a work area with the file name, Cruise, Cruise News, and make sure it is saved in the format of the software you're using. So, I don't need this. Close it. Um, so let's see where we here. So save it in the format of the software you're using. <coughs> um, okay, just give me a moment. Let me just pick up this call. Right. So yeah. So. Um, let me just verify the question. I had to pick up this call. Okay, so where are we now? Make sure it is saved in the format of the file you're using. Um, so let's go ahead and save it. In the current folder, so you will save it as Cruise News. Okay. Cruise News. And um, make it save in the format of the file you're using. Um, I mean, the software you're using and say okay next um, place in your evidence document a screenshot to show that this file has been saved and make sure that there's evidence of file type now guys i must say here that uh, the mistake that most students actually make is when they um when they um they want to save this file they come here as savers like this and then they get this window as evidence before they even save the file what they do is that they crop this window and you know pass it on as evidence of um the file being being saved okay now you're not supposed to get this window as the evidence of the file being saved okay the window actually you are supposed to get is you go to the folder where the file is in this case the file is here this one here and you get a screenshot of this window Okay, you get a screenshot of this window. So forgive me, I'm failing to drag from there. Okay, there you go. 
So you get a screenshot of this window. This is the window that is showing you that the file has been saved. Now you need to make sure that um, the file type here is visible. Okay, we need to make sure the file type is visible and uh, evidence is there that it is saved as a Word document file. Okay, then get a screenshot of um, this window. Okay, um, copy and go ahead and paste it here. Okay, good. Next, place in the header of the cruise news the automated file name with path right aligned so let's go ahead and do that so insert in the header okay so i'll delete this and delete this and get this and um you can go on document info and put file path there and it will get the path plus the file name at the end there okay alternatively you can go to quick parts and select file name then add path to file so that is fine. Notice also that um, if you have a long um, file path, that the file is going to extend into the second line. But this is fine because um, the examiner is able to see that actually it starts on this end, so it is right aligned. Okay. Close this. Um, next, place in the footer automated page numbers left aligned. Your name, center number, and current number right aligned. Okay, so in the footer, page number, automated page number, so insert in the footer, automated page number, so just put page number here. Um, you can select which one, uh, whichever you, you want, but I like to go on quick paths. Hit P on the keyboard and select this. And then here, you're going to put your name. Okay, center number and candidate number and make sure that you remove this one if you don't use it okay next make sure that all the alignments match the page margins you can go ahead and verify that okay so you click here and see that the um, the alignments are matched okay see everything is within the column uh, uh, margins also, no other text or placeholders are included in the headers or footer. We've already done that. Remember, I removed the text which was not existing here, and the text I removed it also which was not existing for left align and center align. Okay. And lastly, headers and footers are displayed on all pages, and that's why they are called headers and footers. It should be displayed on all pages. <laughs> okay. Um, so <clears throat> the next thing that we're supposed to do is go to step number three. And step number three, we're going to create the paragraph style. And um, um, let's go ahead and do just that with the paragraph style. Okay, so we have um, we have um, TC title. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this and um, go here and create a new style. So the style is going to be uh, going to be called that. Modify it, and let's go ahead. Make sure that it is being built based on normal then we can get some of the attributes for this style. So it is a serif font, so Times New Roman will do. It is size for, uh, 36, and it is aligned center. It is bold, and it is 12 space um, uh, after. So it's supposed to be bold, and it's supposed to be center. It's supposed to be 36. Okay. And it's supposed to be Times New Roman, which is a serif font. And um, space after is supposed to be um, 12. There is no a single line spacing, no space before. Just verify that you have all these there. Serif font, done. 36, done. Center line, done. Enhancement is supposed to be bold, done. Uh, line spacing, single. And the other uh, space before and space after accordingly. Okay. So go ahead and say okay. And okay, so we go ahead and uh, create another style. Create style. So don't worry about this one. We're going to apply some other style there. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a mount cough. Um, 
So where we, so this is subtitle, okay? So just, um, I'm just going to copy this. Then go there, modify. Oh, we didn't give it the name. Okay, we can give it a name here. And it's going to be built based on normal. And uh, it's a serif font, so Times New Roman would do its 18 point, right aligned and italic. It's 18, right aligned, italic. Okay. Then uh, what else? It's supposed to be, everything is supposed to be 0, 0, 0 for space before space after line space in single. So that should be fine. So this one is actually fine, but make it times new Roman as the font. Okay. Next, modify and build this new style, which is supposed to be um, subhead. Okay, copy it and um, go here, paste it there, build your style based on normal, always. It's a serif font as well, so it's supposed to be times New Roman, and it's 20 left, italic, and underlined. So left, italic, underlined, so it's left, italic, underlined, it's supposed to be 20. Let's check out some formatting about paragraphing. It's supposed to be um, six space after, single line space and zero space before. So uh, single line space, six points after, and the rest is fine. And say okay. Then the next one is supposed to be, um, let's see, TC body. Okay, so get TC body, this one here. Copy it and go here, paste style, modify, and build it based on normal. And uh, let's go ahead and check some of the property. So it's 10, it's a sans serif for, for a change, and it is 10 points, it's justified, and only space after is changed. So let's go ahead and change this. So this is um, justified, it's 10 point, so it's sans serif, I'll leave it there, but um, it's supposed to be 12 points after, okay? There's no other emphasis that is there, um, so you don't need to change anything here. So go ahead and modify this. Then the last one is supposed to be table style, okay? So this is supposed to be TC table, get it, okay? So copy it. And it is also a sign serif 10 uh, points, and it is left aligned, and the rest of the stuff is zero. So um, paste it here, modify, it's 10, it's sign serif, it's supposed to be left aligned. Um, just verify that. Yeah, it's supposed to be left aligned, and everything else remains the same. So make sure they just build it on normal, okay? Base it on normal, left arrow, and it will be uh, 10. Okay, that should be fine. All right, so that should be it. Okay, so now what we're going to do um, from here, I think we need to show evidence. So place in your evidence document screenshots to show all the settings for TC subhead star only. So go ahead and get um, the setting for subhead star, which is this one. Right click, modify, go to paragraph tag, and get a screenshot of this okay and paste it this document say okay paste it in your evidence document subhead style so this is the subhead style just verify that it is the subhead style all right so <clears throat> next i'll continue um with step number four in the next video. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you shortly in the next video.